There is a huge anti-sim racing campaign going on the last few days and must be discussed. Basically, everything starts from James, you know mostly as a gamer muscle who spoke about the hidden danger of the sim racing path. No one, no one sees it. No one sees the whole path. And I'm telling you as an old seasoned person uh, that's, that's gone through this path and struggled with this condition, if you go down the path of uh, these racing games, you will basically end up being evicted from society. And then ashamed, all the YouTube sim racing channels. Uh, a serious video and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm actually just really disappointed in other YouTubers uh, for the lack of them covering this. Wie kannst du es wagen? How dare you? Of course, a few days later, Dave come broke in front of the camera. James said, you know, be careful. Follow it by this ugly face, who said. I know we already lost the battle, but at least we can stop pretending how fun this sim racing world is. Guys, who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> now, for those who don't know anything about it, I will try to bring you very quickly up to speed. James, sit down with straight face for 10 minutes being sarcastic for the deep hole of sim racing talking about how something innocent as Gran Turismo can lead to some dangerous events in our life. In my personal opinion, that was really, really great and funny performance and I don't even know how he managed to keep that straight face for 10 minutes. Anyway, my personal experience started quite differently as the first video I see on the topic was from Dave Cam, which started in really dramatic fashion. Now James has been a sim racer for quite some time now. Um, and unfortunately there's no sign that he's gonna get better soon. Honestly, after the first minute of Dave video, I just paused and started looking what happened to James and if there is something I can help and do about it because I really got worried. But after I found it was just comedy performance, I came back to Dave video and I was laughing with tears from his five star Hollywood kind of drama performance. <laughs> Absolutely brutal. Now, let me be clear, I found those two performances incredibly fun, but some people didn't like it and some people even got offended, which in my personal opinion is absolutely normal. I mean, when we talk about comedy, we are so different and I don't want to judge anyone about that. Of course, I did my version and I make some dark jokes with my friends and myself about how deep we have lost our souls in this beautiful hobby. Most of the people had fun, some didn't get it at all because it was a little bit out of context and some even called me personally to ask me if I need some help, which was really, really sweet feeling and I personally apologize to each of them to make them worry about me. And some start asking questions if that is serious or some kind of joke. So I will try to be very, very clear. I am passionate about racing and sim racing my entire life. Because of racing, I have missed many, many great things in life. And I did that consciously. That was my personal choice. My life doesn't look like fun for my family, my mom, my friends, probably for the most of the world. But I don't give a shit what everyone out there thinks what is better for me. I'm someone who lived in four different countries through my entire life and every new beginning starts below zero. And I'm the one who goes through all those difficult moments and struggle in life. And I'm the one who knows better than anybody else out there what motivates me every morning to get out of my bed and start chasing my next goal. The passion for racing has always been my main motivation and I don't regret a single choice or single second I ever spent on the racing or on the sim racing field. Am I addicted? Absolutely no, and to know why, racing mostly gives me struggle and enjoyment. I just love racing, unconditionally. So please, don't get me serious in that last video and think somehow racing depressed me. That's impossible. Now, once I explain myself, let's go back to the drama. 
in that last video I called out my friend Ermin Hamidovic because I was sure he gonna have absolutely awesome response to that topic. And he did. I was really laughing my ass at work listening to his incredible sense of humor and at the end of that video he called out Will from Boosted Media in very fun way, at least in my opinion, to continue that kind of crossover fun message between the YouTube sim racing channels. Many viewers enjoyed the post, but some small group of people attacked very aggressively Ermin for defense of Will. First, Ermin didn't said a single bad word about Will and it didn't meant anything bad at all. And I believe he didn't deserve that attack. But I don't know, Will, if you watch that video and if you see Ermin post, but I'm curious to know, did you felt offended at all? Because I can put my head. Ermin didn't meant anything bad. What hurts me the most is Ermin took down that great content and if Will from Boosted Media felt somehow offended, then I fully support that Ermin decision. But if that attack from few viewers is the reason, then that is really sad. It's like you admit you did something wrong and you didn't. You see, the problem is most of your viewers really enjoyed the content but now must suffer the consequences of that small group of angry people. And second, and probably the most important, if you listen to angry people, you will suffer and that will burn out your love for the beautiful content you create. Let me tell you what happened at the time I put my video on the topic live. This channel experienced the biggest unsubscription period ever. And that is not bad thing and let me tell you why. First, I put endless hours of work for every video because I really enjoy expressing myself. I don't want to be likable for everyone. That's impossible. I only want to do things that inspire me and those who like it will stick around and those who don't, there are plenty of choices out there. I will try to give you a little life advice and that is not just for the content creators but for everybody out there. Make sure you do things that inspire you. Never do things that other people are expecting from you because your very motivation depends on that. I've heard once this beautiful expression, when you are tired from everything in your life, you don't need rest. You need something that will excite you and will inspire you. And that is so true and I can spend hours explaining why is that the case biologically, but I don't think you want to hear this right now. So I will share those links from Dave and James in the description below from their videos. Now you can go and watch them with that little bit different perspective and I guess you will enjoy if you really love that dark kind of comedy. That's the comedy I personally love and that being said, we are not addicted, we are dedicated. See you in the next one.